Chaos, present in everything from a drop of water to the galaxies in our universe, has long fascinated people from cultures around the world. The natural disorder present in the branches of trees, lightning, and coastlines, to name a few examples, may seem to be completely chaotic. However, self-similarity within these phenomena is much more organized than it appears. Repeating patterns in many natural objects and processes are known as fractals, figures that show self-similarity at different levels. The study of fractals, both in nature and pure mathematics, has advanced numerous branches of science, such as computing, telecommunications, fluid dynamics, biology, and medicine, and can offer innovative new perspectives on human science and technology. Almost everything in the universe is constantly changing, and while fractals have been described as patterns of chaos, they can also be described as patterns of change in the context of natural fractals. In many cases, fractal patterns are the most efficient way to deliver nutrients, harvest sunlight, or form support structures for plants or animals. For example, the nautilus shell, a naturally occurring object that results from the growth of a nautilus, forms in a very precise logarithmic spiral, meaning every compartment of the shell is larger than the preceding compartment by the same factor regardless of its position in the shell. The veins of many leaves are also arranged in a fractal pattern, making it easy for nutrients to flow into and out of the leaf. Romanesco broccoli, perhaps one of the most well-known fractal patterns in nature, grows in branches, or buds. Each large bud has several smaller buds, which themselves have smaller buds, and so on. While these natural fractals are not infinite like their mathematical counterparts, their self-similarity is well modeled by fractals. Many non-biological processes or objects also demonstrate repeating self-similar fractal features. Snowflakes have a fractal structure due to the organization of water molecules within them, which is often reflected in the six branches of snowflakes or the frost seen on windows. Many metals have branching microstructural features close in appearance to trees, which are known as dendrites, resulting from specific crystallization parameters. Flowing water often spreads out in fractal patterns, such as the alluvial fans of rivers that terminate near mountains. The flow of water, wind, or other sources of erosion can form fractal patterns in features such as coastlines and mountains, as the driving forces of change often act more strongly on areas which have already been acted upon in a recursive loop. On a larger scale, solar systems and galaxies have been observed to organize in self-similar patterns, something that defies many previous theories. At the most basic level, fractals occur in nature because of the repetition of a process or force acting on something, such as the erosion of land by water or the growth of leaves on a fern plant. The persistent action of water on a surface can introduce cracks, which expand and open up more surface area for new cracks to form, thus creating self-similar features. The force of evolution drives living things to be as simple as possible while still being able to survive. The shortening of an organism's genome can be beneficial, as it would require less resources to reproduce. In this respect, fractals offer a marvelous method for living structures to simplify, as it is easier to genetically store the self-similar information of a fractal than the details for every small structure, as seen in the fractal patterns of fern leaves. For some natural fractals, it is still unclear why they organize into self-similar patterns, although the driving principle is likely related. Humans have noticed the patterns in natural objects for thousands of years, and many human creations have been inspired by fractal patterns. For example, the organizations of towns and villages historically have often followed fractal distributions. The logarithmic spiral is a prevalent feature of much of Renaissance art. Humans seemingly followed the self-similar patterns seen in nature subconsciously, and modern research has shown that humans prefer art designs that show fractal geometry over those that don't. 
Many scientists investigated the patterns of natural structures, such as the nautilus shell, ice crystals, or the veins in the human body. Human models of these patterns were simple, such as the logarithmic function or repeating geometrical features, but advanced several areas of mathematics, science, and technology. Many scientists continued to investigate the mathematics of recursion and self-similarity, but the study of fractals was reinvigorated with the advent of computing in the late 1900s. In the late 1970s, Polish-French mathematician Benoit Mandelbrot began studying fractals, specifically the Julia sets created by French mathematician Gaston Julia six decades prior. At the time, Mandelbrot was among the research staff at IBM and used the computers available to him to plot the Julia sets, specifically highlighting the points in the set that did not go to infinity but stayed between certain bounds, now known as the Mandelbrot set. Building on the work of George Cantor, Gaston Julia, Felix Hausdorff, and Louis Fry Richardson, Benoit Mandelbrot wrote many papers and books on the new field of study, fractals, a name he derived from the Latin word for fragmented. Mandelbrot demonstrated the application of fractals to natural phenomena such as coastlines, as well as unnatural phenomena such as the stock market. In addition to applications in mathematics, fractals have been used to model or design novel systems in fields such as medicine, computer and electrical engineering, biology, chemistry, environmental science, cosmology, and many more. Unlike the familiar 1, 2, and 3-dimensional figures, fractals do not have integer topological dimensions, and instead can have non-integer, or Hausdorff, dimensions, which allow for closer approximation of natural features. The simplicity and high surface area of fractals make them ideal models for simplifying and improving existing or theoretical designs. Fractals have found ingenious applications in biology and medicine due to the multitude of natural systems that follow recursive patterns in at least one respect. Some bacteria's growth has been well approximated by fractal models, and these models can also help predict the locations of bacterial colonies. The growth of blood vessels in the human body follows fractal division, a phenomenon that can be disturbed in cancerous tissue. Fractal analysis of blood vessel growth in tumor tissue can offer new insights into cancer. The organization of neurons follows fractal patterns, a feature that may help understand how the human brain functions. Fractal distributions have been used to determine the distribution of plants in managed forests, analyze the distributions of alveoli and lungs, and even research the genetic systems of cells. Fractal models have been successfully applied to physical processes such as turbulent flow and aggregation of molecules due to the similarity of the physical laws that govern how such things occur. Fluid dynamics, as chaotic and potentially recursive phenomena, has been reproduced numerically by fractal approximations, which has helped model such things as fluid flow around airplanes and ships, the kinetics of mixing in industrial processes, and many other engineering problems. Some porous structures are fractal to a degree, and fractal models have been used to model porous media for petroleum engineering. The randomness seen in fractals can be similar to the Brownian motion of molecules in liquid or gas, and semi-fractal models have been used for approximation of diffusion, aggregation, and electrodeposition of molecules in materials engineering. Due to the high surface area to volume ratio of fractal patterns, designs that incorporate fractals have been implemented to minimize the mass or size of applications that require high surface areas, such as antenna or cooling units. This approach has shown great promise, achieving equal or higher specifications with significantly less material used. Using the principles of self-similarity at any scale, Fractal patterns have been used in a new method of image compression, which offers clear resolution at any scale. The natural world has an abundance of chaotic processes that shape the world we live in, and these processes often create the self-similar things we see around us. 
Learning from these natural fractals has given us the ability to advance our knowledge of the physical world and to apply this knowledge to novel creations. In the future, the study of fractals will lead to greater inventions and may help answer our lingering questions about the universe. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, check out more videos on the channel for other interesting topics, or subscribe to the channel for more educational documentaries.